You're watching NBC 6 News today. February is Dental Health Month for our pets, and most people think of taking care of your pet's teeth, but today we're talking about oral cancer. Dr. Amanda Beck is with us. She's the veterinary oncology specialist at University Veterinary Hospital, um, and she's here with us to kind of talk all about this subject. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Before Thanks we dive in, I have to brag on you a little bit. You, yeah. We were just talking before um, we got into the interview. You're the only oncologist for our pets can in the area where can they glow that's closest that's correct so um, outside of Shreveport you'd be looking at a trip to Dallas or mm -hmm. down to LSU in Baton Rouge so she so. knows her stuff <laughs> is what we're saying here now let's talk a little bit about um, oral cancer and about pet you know health and especially when it comes to their mouths sure so of course we focus a lot on teeth and gums when we think of dental pet health um, but it's also important to realize that they can actually get tumors in their mouth and many times an owner is not actually going to see the tumor or the mass because dogs are not always going to let us look in their mouth or cats either um, and so you have to look for certain symptoms um, of the tumor instead of actually seeing it sometimes. And so what are the, some of those symptoms? Sure so a lot of times the what owners tell us that they notice the most is often a foul odor or bad breath they notice their breath gets really bad you may notice something like a little bit of blood in the water mm -hmm. or when when they eat or something or they chew one of their toys and they you notice bleeding some dogs will actually paw at their mouth some cats will start rubbing their head on furniture and things like that so just anything unusual that would potentially clue you in that something may be going on and what is it so if something's going on and they bring it in you guys take a look how does the treatment process what do you do sure so it really depends but um, oftentimes we will start with some type of sample we'll take a biopsy we will um, you know get a sample of it and then there's a whole host of anything from surgery to radiation we can do chemotherapy um, one of the most common types of cancer in dogs is melanoma and we've actually got a treatment vaccine a melanoma vaccine that helps their body recognize that those cells are foreign and helps them fight that cancer so it's a really cool treatment that we don't have for every cancer and if you are interested <coughs> in more information on this they do have a blog post written on their website this is a photo actually that um, Dr. Kat sent us yesterday of something that you guys, that I think she worked on or saw something yesterday and was like, mm -hmm. so, um, but this is, this is what it looks like. This is what an oral tumor will look like. We will post more information on this for you as well as a link to the blog post with more info on our website, arclatexhomepage.com. The best advice, if you think this is something affecting your animal, bring them in, have a veterinarian um, look at it. Thanks for being with us this yeah, morning. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Well, stay with us. Coming up, Josh has a quick look at our forecast after the break.